Hi, hello friends. Welcome to our Skill Courses channel. In today's video, we will discuss about MS Word Paragraph Pro. So let's dive. Okay, guys. So let's we will discuss our next topic is paragraph. So I want one paragraph. So there is a one shortcut key. Like that, I will show equal to rand and enter it. Okay, read a one shortcut key. Suppose I will enter these lines and I will take one chapter. Chapter number one. Chapter one. The story of Win. Uh, Win. Yes. Okay. So here you see there is a one option is called a bullets. So I will select this passage entire like that and I will go to the bullets option. Okay. There is a lots of bullet you will see. Okay. Suppose I want to select this bullet. This kind of bullets will come. Okay. So if you want your own type of bullets, so what you will do? Okay, I will tell you, go to the define new bullets option, symbol, here, I will go here, buildings option, buildings, web, uh, webdings options, like this. I will choose any kind of one bullets. Uh, yeah, 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 there is a one bullets, like this, suppose I will select this bullet, okay, and okay. And again, okay, like this. Okay, this is the bullets you can choose this. Then, if you want again, define bullets. If you want any kind of one picture you want, then picture go to picture from five. And here you see, suppose you want this bullet and insert this bullet. And okay, like that bullet you will show. Okay, so next, if you don't want, you can learn it like this. If you want numbering and alphabetics bullets, so go to here, you get wide variety of numbering and alphabetic and Roman Nepalese numbers, small case as well as capital bullets also. So I will select one bullet like this. So this is bullet. Okay. You don't want none this bullet. If you want multi-level list, okay. So I will take one tab over here. Again, I will take one tab again here also, and I will take two tabs, okay. So I will select entire this passage and go to the multi-level list, okay. So I will select this bullet, okay. So see, this is our first point and this is our second point, okay. So in this first point, there is a one sub point, like first and second. In this second point, there is a one first point also. It is called a multi-level list. Okay, you see this type of bullet is shown in newspaper or any magazine or any kind of exam question papers also. So, if you don't want this bullet, Click here and learn this and we clear all formatting like this. Then here you see indent option. It is called an increasing indent and this is called a decreasing indent. So I will select this entire passage and we will increase our indent like this. See. This indent is used for you can suppose you want to do any kind of greeting cards or any kind of birthday wishes. So you can do like that, okay, and you can type any wonderful text over here or any kind of, you can insert the picture, this is called the increasing indent. In that time you can increase indent should use, okay. Suppose you want decreasing the indent as a normal, so it is decreasing indent like this. So here it is called a short, means if you want any kind of 
alphabet or any kind of list you want to ascending order wise or any kind of descending order wise you can do it i will type for just the names like suppose ajay abhishek then uh kaustop then ishan then I, I type like these names okay so I will select these names entire and go to short and descending option and okay like this see Varun Sachin Varun become first then Sachin then Mohan then Kaustuk then Ganesh then Ishan Ajay and Abhishek like this suppose you want this name into the ascending wise so go to the short and go to the ascending and okay like this First you will see the Abhishek, then Ajay, then Ishan, Ganesh, Kaustu, Mohan, Sachin and Varun. Like this. Okay. So, on we will remove our next topic, paragraph marks. Okay. What is that? Suppose I click here. Okay. What will show, what paragraph marks show? Your this line start in this first of the margin and this line end in this, in there, in this. Okay. So, that mark shows that there is no line further. Okay, so this line, the second paragraph, this line start with here and end with here. There is no line further. Then again, this paragraph show start here and end with here. Okay, then again, fourth paragraph start with here and end with here. And again, fifth paragraph start here and end with here. So, this paragraph mark shows that, identify that. There is uh, no line further, so this mark, this line end up to here only, not go further. Okay, so I will remove, I want to remove, so I remove, again I will click here and I will remove it. Okay, so we will go to downside, which is called a border. So I will select it entire, uh, not uh, entire this passage and I will go border option. See, it is called a border. And I will go to the bottom border. See, bottom border comes here. Then I will go top border. See, top border come here. Then I will go left border. See, the left border comes. Then I will go right border. Then again, right border comes here. If you don't want any kind of border, so there is no border. Okay. Then, if you want all border, like that, you will get all border in entire passage. So, if you want only inside the border, so I will go first new border and I will go inside the border, like this. You will get the inside border in this whole paragraph. Okay. So, if you don't want, then no border. Okay. Then here you see it is called a shading. Like this. Whatever you pass is selected, that shading is come over here. Okay. Like this. Okay. Here, if you want more shading, go to more color options. Then click this shading, this color and this type of shading is come. If you want again more colors, then go to the custom. We create our own shading. I want 75% uh, of red. Then I want green up to only 15% and remaining I want 25% of blue. Like this. So I will ok it. Like that shading you come. Ok. If you remove want to be shading. Go to and no color. You are shading it remove. See, you go right now in paragraph. This is more spacing. This is called a paragraph setting options. So I will click here paragraph settings. Uh, in the spacing, you see this is spacing. In this spacing, you see there is a 
after okay so i will click on after spacing uh, up to this okay and okay you see the both the paragraphs will be spacing up to 48 48 spacing it is called a paragraph spacing if you want to remove this spacing click again here and remove it Uh, like this zero okay and okay okay so then next it is called a line spacing option i will go to line spacing if you want if you want to increase your line spacing of the both the lines so you go to the line spacing option see like this okay it is a show up to three uh, three line spacing so if you want more than that this option so go to the line spacing option and go to multiply and here you can increase your line spacing like this you can see the preview also and okay like this okay again you want as a normal condition go to this 1 and 1.5 like this okay so here it is a indent option okay it is called a sorry it is called a alignments option Suppose I select here and Control L means left align, Control E means center align, Control R means right alignment. Then again I will show you Control L means left align, Control E means center align, and Control R means right align. Okay, I will take this as a Control E as a center of the alignment. Okay, here you see. It is called a justify. What justifies do? This line is this line is not get equal and means this line cannot get uh, what I want to say cannot get match. Okay, I will go to the justify option. See what is line? This line and this line get should be match and equal. Means your parallel should be justified. Okay, so right now I will complete entire parallel option so stay with our channel and like it share it and subscribe my channel for more informative so thank you